What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Video Home Theater and I'm out here in beautiful Prosper, Texas just doing another installation on a newer home. We're going to be installing a 5-1 in the living room as well as a 7-1 in the theater room and then some patio speakers. Pretty typical for this area. Everything is pre-wired. I'm going to take you inside and show you what we're doing. Okay guys, so um, I'm a little behind. The guys have already taken up most of the equipment, but you can see we treat your home with respect. We wear booties in your home and we lay down blankets uh, for all the products when we first bring it in and uh, take it upstairs. So here in the living room, we are going to be utilizing the pre-wiring from the builder as the front left and right and rear left and rear right. And we're gonna be mounting this customer owned TV up here on the stone. And we're gonna be using a Klipsch RP240 as our center speaker. All the equipment is terminating over here. And we're gonna be using a receiver that he brought from his old house, try to save some money. And also a Klipsch sub, which is pre-wired to go right here at the front of the room. And we're going to pull that plate off and bring the wiring out and have his sub sitting right here. So this configuration is called a 5.1. Front left, right, and center, as well as rear left and right, and then one sub for your base. So right here is the pre-wiring for the patio speakers. So we're going to put in a volume control there so that he can adjust his volume. And also out here on the patio, we're going to be popping in weatherproof in-ceiling speakers from Episode. You guys see me use those all the time. They're great because they give you the peace of mind knowing that your speakers aren't going to go bad out in the extreme heat or the humidity. Um, and you can even, you know, hit them with the hose, whatever. Uh, they are going to withstand the elements, which is really nice. Uh, now, I'm going to take you upstairs and show you the theater. All right, you can see the guys are already getting to work in this particular room. This was, I think, like a spec home or something, and they just didn't know what they were doing. They took whatever random speakers they could find and just popped them in the wall. What we're gonna be doing is removing these in-ceiling speakers that are in the wall, and we're gonna put them in the ceiling downstairs. Screen's already here. For now, the customer's gonna keep it. And we're also gonna keep the center speaker. This is an LCR, so that is the correct type of speaker for that application. But these front, left and right, gotta go. As well as uh, we're gonna pull out these end ceilings in the rear, just because they'll match, and we're gonna move all four of those downstairs. Now, we're gonna be using the CS16s, 16W from Klipsch, as our front left and right, as well as our surround left and our surround right, which is pre-wired. And then I'm going to use the CS16C2. These are in-ceiling speakers. And they're just going to replace these guys right here. Now all the equipment's terminating back here at the room. So you can see there is a little bit of equipment. The customer has a older receiver that isn't 4K compatible. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to put in a new receiver. We're using the Denon. AVR X2600. That's the brand new 2019 in command series from Denon. And we're going to pull this guy out. We're also going to be using the customer's subwoofer that he already owns in this room. But here, where there's this little ViewSonic projector, it's like barely hanging by a thread. Uh, we're going to pull that thing down and we're going to put up the Epson Pro Cinema 4050. And that particular model is really popular, guys. Um, the Pro Cinema, it's got an MSRP of $2,399. It's not the cheapest projector you can get, but it's, it's a very good value. It's a, a quality product, and it comes with a three-year warranty, as well as a spare lamp and the projector mount included. So. Uh, it produces a beautiful image. I'll show you a demo whenever we complete the project, but this particular projector if you're not wanting to You know break the bank and just wanting to fill the room, but still get nice quality e-shift 4k. You really can't beat it 
So that's kind of a recap of what we're doing here today, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get to work and uh, start getting all these speakers put in, and we'll try to update you and show you the process as we complete the work. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, here's the equipment that we're working with today. We got the RP240. This is a slim on wall. We're using that downstairs. This is all the rest of the equipment right here is for the theater room. This is the custom series. 16C. Basically, you uh, it also has a skyhook technology to where these will just pop right into place. Um, but these are for the front left and right. And then these guys over here are for the surround left and right. This is our projector. This is the all so popular Epson 4050 4K E-Shift. It's not native 4K, but at 2,399 retail, you can't beat it. It comes with this $300 lamp included for free, or part of the package. And it also has this mount, which you can see is specifically designed for this projector. It lines up exact. And then it has this nice quick connect uh, top piece. It is tension based, like you have to do it with a screwdriver, um, unlike the strong fine adjust that I always use, but it's still a good quality mount. And then here's the new uh, Denon X20, uh, 600h this just came out like a week or two ago and the reason i use the in command series is the three-year warranty and it's a better quality product this is a 7.2 channel receiver so you can see the guys are working on getting all the holes ready basically we popped out the front left and front right as well as the rear left and right and we're working on the surrounds right now. So we're gonna cut these bigger, basically, and pop the speaker in place. And then take those old speakers downstairs. Okay guys, so one cool thing about this custom series speaker is their Skyhook technology. If you look right here, basically if you push up, these will automatically pop out right into place. So they say it's a toolless installation, other than the fact that you'd have to cut a hole. <laughs> uh, and that requires a tool. But either way, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you exactly, exactly how it works. I know you got there, but so oh, essentially, yeah, you but just go like this. Because like remember the we did over there, mm -hmm. we, so it doesn't spread around. Yeah, much. so you go and like that. The dog's gonna go like here. Yeah, it goes then pops. you're gonna have all the wow. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. It's supposed to pop right into place. Sometimes it's gonna work. Sometimes it's not. Either way, it's pretty cool that it does that. Not necessarily toolless, but it's it's pretty cool. That's what it looks like, nice and flush. Okay, guys. So Jerry's about to put some holes in the side of the stud. Basically. The reasoning is, is because see how these guys right here, they open to the side. Well, when you're right up against the stud, there's nothing for this to grab onto. So you're kind of forced to just put in a little groove in the stud there, as well as down here, so that it has something to grab onto. So that's, that's what he's doing right now. Putting a groove at the top and at the bottom. And then Sam's gonna do the same thing over there on that one. Whenever you're mounting this, guys, this um, little, where is it? 
right there, that little, uh, is it there? No. Oh, it's right there. That little lever opening opens and closes the mechanism that, here, move it for me, Jerry. There's like a little lever right there. Uh, yeah, that lever right there. And spin it around the other side as frontwards. There you go. See that little lever right there? Oh, okay. See how it opens and closes? Oh, okay. You leave it open, and then once you slip it in there, then you close it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and oh. it faces the other way, frontwards. Oh, okay. good. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you slide it on, and then... Mm. So, like, right now it's locked, and then now it's unlocked. Oh, okay. And it slides right on to these little guys right there. So... You can go ahead and throw it up there. And then move that little, whoop, I'm sorry. Move that little piece. This lock. Yep, mm -hmm. and then it, you shouldn't be able, even if you move it, it shouldn't be able to come off now. Mm -hmm. And then lock your key and just set your key on top. And you're good. Nice. All right, guys, check it out. The seat room looks sweet. I just went ahead and uh, calibrated it for the customer. Everything is looking very good. I wasn't able to document a whole lot of the installation process just because we had so many projects going on today. I was bouncing around um, between them, but I did want to show you what we did here today. We have the customer owned screen, and this was just a basic white screen that was already here. Um, you can see, um, you know, with uh, the lights on, it's a little washed out, but it'll look a lot better once we turn the lighting off like that. I'm sure he'll be calling me for an upgrade on that at some point. But um, here we have the custom series for the uh, front left as well as the front right. They're the uh, CS16s as well as the surround left and right. And the center speaker is one that was already installed there. So we just kept it. It's an LCR. And then at the rear of the room, not only do we have our beautiful Epson 4050, Isha 4K projector, but we have our in ceiling custom series clip speakers. And I mean, for the price point, you really can't beat these guys. Uh, if you take a look, they have magnetic rails and um, they're a sharp looking speakers. Very, very, very affordable as well, which is important. Um, and then up here, we have the projector search projected, and I ran a brand new 4K 18 gig 4x4x4. HDMI cable, the Epson 3 LCD technology, 4K U shift. And this does come with the spare lamp, which we put down there and the three year warranty. Now this is the brand new uh, 2600. Customer hasn't received a stand yet, but we just set it up on here for him. Uh, you can see all of the wires. We just kind of kind of tidied up back here for him. We didn't make them too tight because he is going to be getting a console, but we made all the connections for him so everything's working for now. We got our watt box down here, the surge protector, and then his sub that was already here. And you can see we have the Blu-ray as well as the AT&T U-verse and a fire stick hooked up to it. And then we put all his warranty stuff over here to the side. Pretty cool little system. Looks good. And I'll run a quick little demo for you guys, as well as show you the downstairs.
a price point for everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. And here's a volume control on the wall where the customer can adjust the volume to their liking when they're out on the patio. And out here, we installed the all-weather in-ceiling speakers from Cliff. Or, sorry, these are the all-weather in-ceiling speakers from Episode, the 350 series. Cliff does not make in-ceiling weatherproof speakers. I wish they did, but they don't. Um, so we use Episode. And these come with a lifetime warranty, guys. Um, so you can, you know, sleep good at night knowing your speakers aren't going to go bad from the extreme heat here in Texas or if you're up north, the extreme cold. They're also weatherproof. So this is the system and everything turned out wonderfully. Customer's happy. I'm happy. If you guys would like to purchase any of these products, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Let me know what you think. If you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our videos that are going to be coming out, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.